Mm. Uh, I can walk into a shop today in Sweden, mm. get an iPad, mm. an iPhone, mm. uh, a new TV, mm. everything on credit. Yeah. I just walk in and they give me all this and then I walk out feeling like I didn't do anything. <laughs> and then after a month has gone, the bills start popping in. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, and then I can, you know, walk into a dealer mm -hmm. and get a car. Mm -hmm. um, I can go online, book mm -hmm. a holiday for summer, for, for winter, for mm -hmm. Earth. Mm -hmm. Everything done. And I have not spent one cup one of my corner. money. Yes. And I think that is the problem in Sweden. Ah. That a lot of people, especially wow. our people, coming from maybe countries where credit was not easily available. Yes. We're like, oh, you mean I can just do this? Join us as we explore universal challenges and seek solutions that transcend borders. Welcome again to Truth Talk. This is Lisa Mwangi, your girl again on it. Nothing else but the truth. Who do I have here? Oh my God, I have a beautiful, beautiful woman of God. Her name is, I don't want to say, let's start from there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Lisa. Yeah, how welcome. You? Welcome to Truth Talk. Thank you for having me. Mm. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, I feel good. I usually don't like to be like on YouTube, and things, but yeah, um, it's Lisa. So I thought, why not? Let's see. Why not? Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> and you're looking very beautiful. Thank you. You're what did you do too. with yourself? Nothing. No. <laughs> just, just the grace of God. Just the grace of God. Amen. 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 Okay, Bobby, let's go. So yeah. who is Bobby? Let us know who Bobby is. Yeah, okay, so let's start from the fact that I wasn't actually named Bobby. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's something that Swedish people started calling me and it worked. So my name is actually Bobola or Omo Bobola in full. Mm. Um, my mother probably will call me just Bobola. Oh. Mm. She'll call me Bobo. Bo. Yeah, people call me Bobby here, so it's uh. fine. It works. Mm. Yeah. Bobola. And yeah. I'm originally from Nigeria, mm. but I've been living here in Sweden for... Uh, I think it's probably, I came in August 18th, actually. So that's like um, oh uh, 14 God. years ago, 14 2009. Years ago. So I've been here 14 years. Um, I came here to study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, who is Bobby? I'm an electrical engineer by profession. Mm -hmm. uh, power is my specialty. So, mm -hmm. you know, try to build the grid so that you guys have electricity oh, wow. for your <laughs> electrical cars and all of that. <laughs> and um, uh. I'm a wife, so I'm married, happily married. Mm. I'm a mother, I have two kids. Mm. Yeah, a mm. daughter. Mm. My parents are alive and um, I'm also a child of God. Mm. I love to minister in songs. Yeah, mm. so mm. a little bit of... Oh my God, you are a lot. <laughs> no, no, I think everybody is, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of caps that we wear as humans. So. Mm, mm. That's a lot of bucket there. <laughs> oh my God. You, if you say so, no. <laughs> Bo uh, Bobby, okay, allow me to call you Bobby for today. Yeah, call me Bobby, Bola. it's fine. Bobby. Oh my God. <laughs> you, can, you can call me Bobby, everybody says Bobby, so it's fine. So, well, you just came direct from Nigeria, sure, to Sweden. Um... No, no, but no. um, okay. No, no, I've I had been studying in another country before then, so okay. I came here to do my masters. Actually, you did your masters here. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Bobby, tell tell people something. People that want to study, that want to do their masters, PhDs, degrees, and everything. Tell them that. Tell them it's possible. Tell them something. Yeah, definitely it's possible. I mean, when mm. we came though, it was even free tuition. Mm. We didn't have to pay school fees and all of that. Mm. Now there are people that like you have to pay if you're an external student. Mm. But it's possible. It's possible to come here study, get a job, mm. live here. Mm. Yeah, definitely possible. And Sweden is a good place. Mm. It's, I would say it's probably a hidden gem. Mm. It's not the first place people would think about when they want to go and study abroad. But mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's a good place. What exactly do you love about Sweden, Bobby? Oh, that's a very hard topic now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to try. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. what I love about Sweden is the fact that to a very large ex extent, you mm. can just be you. Mm. That equality that the Swedish people you know, mm -hmm. shout about mm -hmm. a lot is mm -hmm. actually very much possible. Mm -hmm. I walk on the streets. I mm -hmm. don't feel weird. I don't mm -hmm. feel strange. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I love about Sweden. I've been, been to other countries. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that though we may not be many black people here, mm -hmm. as you would find maybe in the UK or in the US, mm -hmm. but I think this is a good place. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just be yourself. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that in Sweden, on the streets, you don't, the class is not really so obvious. You don't know who is 
well to do is mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. I mean everybody's in their jeans and mm -hmm. their and mm -hmm. their sneakers and mm -hmm. they just mm -hmm. yeah I think I like that the fact that in mm -hmm. Sweden you learn to mm -hmm appreciate the little things. There is no fuss. You're not trying to impress anybody. You're just trying to just mm. live your life. I think I love mm. that about the Swedish culture. Okay, okay. So you came in, you adapted, even the weather, you adapted. You didn't have any difficulty. So I was coming challenge. from a country that mm. was as cold or maybe even colder than Sweden. Ah. So I didn't find the weather a problem yeah. um, when I came. It, okay. was, it was just like, okay, yeah, this is also another country that is cold. So, uh, yeah. uh, uh, um, so I, didn't, I didn't have a problem with the weather, uh, uh, not, not as much. Now maybe it's more obvious. As a student, uh, you're just doing your thing, you're studying, there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of things going on. Uh, um, now as a, as a person who has a family, it's a little bit different. Maybe you feel more during the, during the winter or during autumn that mm -hmm. you're a little bit down or you mm. need to do a lot of things to get your yeah. um, joy up, yes. like you would say, but yes. I didn't actually have a problem with the weather. I was mm -hmm. okay with it. Okay. Yeah. Bobby, you've talked about that you are an electric engineer. Mm. You are a mother. You mm. are a wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are a worship leader. Bobby, how do you balance all those things? So I would say that um, I think God has created everybody with their own unique qualities. So sometimes if you're just being you, you may not be actually thinking so much about balancing. You're just being you. Mm -hmm. And I think I've always had a dream to be a mother, a minister. No, let's say to have a family, mm -hmm. to have my ministry and mm -hmm. to also have my career. So mm -hmm. I've always had a dream to be uh, to have those three aspects of my life. Mm. And I'm happy that I'm able to do it. You mm. may not, I think the, 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 the secret is probably that you will not do everything mm. 100% at every time. Mm. When I had my kids, mm. I took break from ministering in church mm. and mm. being on the stage. Mm. And so I think it's about, you would find balance, but you may not be at the same time. Yeah. Sometimes you're focusing on your career more. Mm. Sometimes you're focusing on your family more. Mm. Sometimes you're focusing on ministry or church mm. or, or whatever that is for you more. Mm. Um, I think it's, it's maybe that. So it was, it was not a big of a challenge to you? I mean, there's always a challenge. Mm. Uh, it's all like, oh, yeah, everything is like... There are times mm. when, you know, you mm. just have to find a banana for your kids because you have to get on stage and yeah. sing. And, mm. and there are times when you have to, mm. you know, mm. drop your kids in school for 10 hours because you have to go to work. Yes. So it's not like it's going to be always easy. It's just mm. that you have to, if you love doing what you're doing, mm. you find a way to make it work. And then sometimes mm. you have to recognize, okay, this is the time for me to take a break from one or two things mm. and focus on another thing. Mm. So I think um, mm. yeah, you find balance. I forgot to add, actually, okay. that I'm also a podcast host. So I have my own podcast and I, and I love to do wow. yeah, what you're doing here, but without the video. <laughs> without the video. <laughs> without the video. No wonder you're scared. You're like, oh my God, the lights. <laughs> Bobby, wow. Wow, that's nice. So if one wants to find your own podcast. Uh... Yeah. Mm. The podcast is Intentional Randomness. Oh, okay. It's called Intentional Randomness. And it's on Spotify. It's on anywhere you, like, you find your podcasts. Oh, nice, nice. So talking about balance, like mm. I've not done a podcast this year because mm. it's not been the focus. And mm. that's what I meant, that you will find balance, but sometimes your focus will be on one thing mm. than maybe the other thing. And sometimes the focus will shift. Mm. And that is the secret to finding balance, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Not trying to do everything at the same time. Mm. Um, mm. I think that is mm. going to be mm. that is it's harder. True. It's true. Uh, well, do all these sort of things do you have time for yourself leave alone all these other stuff yeah. yourself do you have time for yourself as yeah well? i do have time for myself okay um, i'm i'm a sanguine uh -huh. maybe it's obvious or not uh -huh. um i love to meet people <laughs> i get energy from meeting people so um i have ladies that i meet up with every maybe once a month or once in two months and we just hang out we yeah. eat we laugh and mm. we play mm. and, and sometimes uh i wake up Early in the morning, and I don't do anything. I just take my 30 minutes, one hour. Just, mm. Yeah, I do find time for myself. I think um, mm. that, that is important because you have to, mm. like they say in Swedish, you have to you charge have your batteries. Up, you charge your battery. Oh, like yeah, you have to find a way uh, to do that. Bobby, you mentioned that you are happily married. Bobby, <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh okay, God, what, does, what is it that makes you happy in your marriage? Oh, my goodness. Lisa, that's... This is <laughs> Give us, give, us, give us one or two. You, may, you know, I'm trying to put all the things we've just mentioned. I, I think uh. during the pandemic, there was, um, mm. there was a lot of people talking about, oh, marriages are breaking down because husband and wife are finding themselves in the same house 24-7. Mm. Mm. And I think that's when I realized that I'm actually happily married. 
we had fun. <laughs> we were home. We didn't feel like, you know, breaking each other's neck. We didn't, um, the kids were happy. We were happy. So I was like, yeah, it doesn't get happier than this, that you can, you can be home. You can't go out, no outlets. You just, there, there is lockdown and you're okay at home. You're mm. just, yeah. So I think um, mm. Mm. when you're with someone that you can just be yourself with yeah. and, yeah, and they allow you to just be you, mm. like, Mm. All these things that mm. I just mentioned, my mm. husband is fine. Oh, <laughs> we, 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 we need to we need to, we need to knock on that door. <laughs> Okay, but, but anyway, we believe you, Bobby. So, and yeah. uh, we are so grateful that you honored this call to come and sit on Truth Talk. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> I'm and, actually and, very happy that you're doing this. Or let's say, I'm, I've been in, inspired as well. No, um, thank you. Um, thank that you. That you're Bobby. giving it what it takes. I think sometimes as women, we have to. Mm. Dare to believe in ourselves and do things that we love to do, uh, yes. and not keep that uh, mm. in the in the closet or not keep mm. it in. The, so mm. it's been it's been amazing watching you do truth talk and do your thing. Wow. I think it's good. Wow, really good. We are humbled. <laughs> <laughs> we are humbled. And by the way, thank you so much for everybody who has been watching us and following our stories. And we promise we will never disappoint. Mm -hmm. And now that brings me to the subject of today. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> today we're going to talk about financial freedom. Financial freedom. I know this financial freedom, it may sound like a theory, yeah, mm -hmm. but, but it's a truth there. And it's, uh, it is possible. We can all achieve it. Mm -hmm. But let me come to you, Bobby. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What is financial freedom? Okay, so um, let me just say uh, mm. that I'm not a financial expert or anything. Yeah. Finance, finances, or just generally talking about money, is something I enjoy. To, I enjoy doing it. Yes. Maybe because I love mathematics, mm. <laughs> and um, I also love to have money. Yeah. <laughs> So it's something that I got interested in uh, maybe a few years back, just thinking, okay, there must be more to life than just living from mm. one paycheck to the other to the paycheck. Other. Yes. And almost like just the day before paycheck, you're like, you can't do nothing because there is no money in your, <laughs> in your you pocket. Know, yeah. And so, um, uh, mm. yeah, just to say that I'm not an expert, but mm. uh, it's something that I'm interested in and I love to talk about. So that's why probably mm. I'm here talking about this with Lisa. Mm. Um, so financial freedom, let me use an analogy. We used to joke when we were younger that, mm. you know, when you go out on the street, I grew up in Nigeria, mm. people hock things on their head. Oh, so somebody is selling, I don't know, mm. mandazi yeah. or mm. pop or something. Yeah. Mm. And if you should run into them, let's mm. say somebody is selling pepper. Mm. You run into them mm. and they can pick up their pepper, wash it and carry it on. But mm. if you run into somebody hawking eggs, mm. like, you know, uh, fried, like egg that you fry, mm. and you, you get there, you're in trouble because yeah. the eggs will fall will down fall and down. they will break and all mm -hmm. of a sudden mm -hmm. you need to pay them. Mm -hmm. And we used to say that you mm -hmm. have to have that kind of money mm -hmm. that you can use to, you know, to sort out this uh, business, that this mess on the ground. And I think financial freedom is mm -hmm. um, a like that you are free financially enough to be able to run into some hiccups uh, mm -hmm. financially and mm -hmm. not feel like the world is about to end. Yeah. Uh, and that can be different things for different people. So mm -hmm. Financial freedom is not, oh, when I get to $1 million, then I'm financially free. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Elon Musk should have $1 million as his Mac, mm -hmm. he will probably still be in debt because he owns companies that run into billions of naira. So for him, yeah. being financially free will be something that is bigger. Yes. Uh, for somebody else, it's been, and I think, so financial freedom is you're not living in debt, so mm -hmm. you don't have debt. Mm -hmm. um, you, you're able to save mm -hmm. and you're able to invest. Mm -hmm. That's, a, that's a, a basic place to be, um, mm -hmm. a place where, if your phone breaks or mm. your, your, I don't know, your microwave gets spoiled at home, you don't mm. run into a crisis. Mm. You don't have to take a loan to yeah, fix to it. Fix You're it. able to just, oh yeah, I wasn't planning to use this, mm. I don't know, $1,000 for this, but ah, mm. life goes on. Mm. And I think that's where you are like, okay, mm. I'm beginning to be financially free, mm. where you are not having a panic attack when there is something that you didn't plan for. Wow, and that is the importance of being financial yeah. uh, free. You have that freedom that you are able to fix things by yourself. Self, yeah. yeah, you don't need to rely on somebody else, on yeah. some bank or everything. Exactly. But in this time, Bobby, mm. we live in right now, do you think everybody is possible just to rely on himself and the current economic situation that it is ongoing? I, and it's all over, it's not only mm. in Sweden. No, not only in Sweden. Yeah. I, I think that to say everybody would probably be mm. It's not possible yeah. for everybody because people are coming. People have different places yeah. they're going to. They're starting from. Mm. But I think that financial freedom is possible for the person that 
plans for it and prepares for it and, and wants to achieve it. Mm, mm, because mm, it's achievable, mm. but a lot of people, just like a lot of things in life, uh, you mm. might want to achieve something, but you mm. might not be able to give it what it takes. Mm. I think it's possible, mm. even in this situation. Mm. It might mean a lot. Mm. It might take a lot from you, but it's very possible mm. um, for, for a lot of people to still be financially free in this, mm. in mm. this season. Mm. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Bobby, um, that brings me to this. Maybe you can uh, give us some tips mm. that uh, you think that can save us. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> save, the, save us. Huh? Save the entire world. Because, Bobby, you're being watched by the world right oh, now. Give us some tips right now that can save us, you know, to be financial free. I think that mm. um, it's not something that you wish and then it happens within a second. I think yeah. financial freedom is a journey. Yeah. I would say that for myself. When mm. I first moved to Sweden, I told you I came here to study. Yeah. And I used to live on 100 crowns per week. Hey, <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> and, um, what? and then I'm talking 14 years later, yes. I know what. I can do. So yeah. um, I think financial freedom is a journey mm -hmm. and it's a journey that doesn't just, and I think for, for anyone, financial freedom starts with you planning your finances. So uh, the first baby step, like let's say the, the kindergarten of financial school is that you must be able to budget. Yeah. You must be able to live within your, your means. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and I think that is what is hard for a lot of people to do. Mm -hmm. um, we live in a world where there is an image, right, of yeah. what you should be, mm. where you should be. Mm. So you find that, um, uh, let me give a story. Um, mm. Someone was asking me uh, some time back. I think it was even my mother, you know, she was here visiting us. Mm. And then she was like, oh, you should, you probably should have two cars so that when you need to go out and your husband needs to go out, then you can do that. And I told her, no, mm. I'm not old enough to have two cars. And she laughed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she was, I, I was like, uh, in our language, it translated like mm. to, I'm not old enough to have two cars. But it yeah. basically meant, I said, mm. I'm not there where I want to have two cars. Two cars, yes. Does it mean that I cannot have two cars now? No. no. I can walk into a shop in Sweden yes. and just give them my pers personal number, yeah, my yeah, income, yeah. and mm. they will give me a car. Yes. But does that mean that I can actually have two cars? Mm. And that's the problem that we live in a world where we all imagine that we can do this and that. I can mm. own an iPhone. Mm. I don't know what number it is on now. <laughs> I can, uh, yes, it's I can do this. Okay. I can do this. I can, you know. <laughs> and, and then we forget that we actually cannot. If you sit down with your income, mm. you would quickly realize mm. what you can or cannot afford. Mm. Mm. And a lot of us don't want to sit down with our, with our income. We want to live the life that we think has been painted, that we are worthy of living. Mm. And we don't want to sit with, okay, where am I really in life? Wow. What can I do? That's and what can I not do? That's a good question. Say it again, Bobby. <laughs> wow. Say it no, again. I mean, a lot of times we think that we can afford a lot of things. But yeah. if we really sit down with ourselves, mm. we realize that we probably cannot. Yes. That's when you realize, oh, maybe I'm living in a house that is too big for me, mm -hmm. or I'm driving a car that is too big for me. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm buying too much clothes that I cannot mm -hmm. afford. Mm -hmm. That Gucci bag, maybe mm -hmm. that's not my level yet. Yes. Uh, but sometimes we don't want to do that. We mm -hmm. want to have that Gucci bag mm -hmm. now. I used to joke with a friend of mine that, mm. oh, we need to be having designers. And we would laugh. <laughs> Is it because we couldn't buy it? No, it's because that's not what we should be putting money in. Mm. In, in, in two years' time, maybe in five years' time, when I'm carrying that Gucci bag, I want to carry it with my, you know, mm -hmm. Financial peace. Okay. I'm not thinking of, yeah. oh, I have to pay 10 more payments on this bag or, you know, that kind of a thing. And, uh, I, and uh, I think that is the key to financial freedom. Mm. Being truthful to yourself yes. um, is the first journey. Mm -hmm. Realizing that, okay, I earned this much. What mm. can I afford to do with this money today? Mm. And then as you commit yourself to the discipline that it, that it takes to budget, to plan, mm. you will see that you become more and more financially free. Mm. You can run into 10,000 egg or cars mm. and you wouldn't feel like your your mm. <laughs> your finances will mm. will uh, yeah so i think it's all about you know mm. financial shock absorber mm. and how much you plan for that wow no no i love what you say you know where you are Mm. And you plan. Huh? Mm. You don't live beyond your means. Mm. And, uh, and that's a mistake most of us are doing. Yeah. And um, I remember I, there's a story I read on, um, I think it was on Facebook, that uh, somebody was, um, you know, 
posting uh, pictures uh, mm. yeah, outside the limousine. Like, you know, mm. just want to show that kind of life. This is this is mm. what I'm living. And now when people go to know what she's doing mm. and, uh, and they exposed her, mm. actually she became depressed. Yeah. She became sick, like literally sick. Yeah, or, or maybe taking a loan to, mm. to go for a holiday. Uh, holiday and everything. If you, as, as you're saying, if you plan yourself well, but let me let, let me go back. Let me mm. rewind back a little. Yeah. Bobby, how did you manage to live? <laughs> 100 crown a week. Please, can you just, I want no, our viewers I mean, to get that. I mean, again, so yeah. I would say, like I told you, financial freedom was something that I started being more actively, um, um, like I'm giving myself to it more actively a few years ago. But, but even as a student, yes. I could plan. So as a student, mm. I came here, I wasn't on scholarship or mm. anything, no, mm. because it was free tuition and all of that. So it was mm. more like you work and then mm. you make mm. your way. Mm. And I probably had a job that sometimes you get called, you know, this thing in Sweden where you are substituting for people. Yes. And uh, you get called when they're not at work or yeah, you don't yeah, get yeah. called. So uh. sometimes you, you've gotten called and you know that, oh, at the end of this month, I'm going to get like 2,000 crowns mm. and then I'm going to buy my bus card. Mm. I'm going to pay my rent. And then mm. I'm left with maybe... 500, 600 crowns per month. Yes. So you have to, okay, four weeks or five weeks in a month, 100 mm. crowns. And you've already bought your food stuff. Mm. So mm. you just know it's 100 mm. crowns. Mm. You eat your rice and your mm. stew. Mm. Monday, Tuesday, maybe mm. on Wednesday, you interject it with some pasta. And, mm. and then you just make it work. It wasn't easy, but no, no. you make it work because you don't want to live um, beyond your means. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, talk to somebody in, in that kind of a situation. How do you still manage to save something? So that's what I was telling you that when you say, can everybody, uh, uh, as, as we are now in the mm, world, I would say mm, no, because mm, mm. sometimes people are in that place where they cannot even afford to save. So at that point, as a student, saving was not in the question. In the question. Mm. When I'm on 100 crowns or when mm. I was on 100 crowns per week. Mm. But there were months where it's better, you earn mm. more, then you put some mm. away because mm. you preparing for the time when you may not be called as often mm. and you may not have uh, mm. as much income. Mm. So it may not be regular saving, but mm. I think that if you think of saving as something that is a percentage of whatever it is you're earning, mm. you can make room for it. Yeah. No matter what you're earning. If you're earning mm. 100 crowns mm. and you want to save 10%, that is always going to be 10 good, crowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody earning 1,000 might be saving 100. Mm. Uh, somebody earning 100,000 Swedish mm. crowns might be saving 10,000. So I think it's about mm. um, uh, finding your level finding where to start from and always starting from somewhere. Okay. And uh, when it comes to now you're on that level, you have started, mm. uh, yeah, now you want to make money. Yeah? Mm. You know, you've uh, charged yourself. You, mm. you say, now it is me, Bobby, I've mm. come. Um, <laughs> it is me and money. I'm mm -hmm. making it. Yeah? Mm. So what are some of the challenges uh, or the obstacles one can encounter while on it? And why, you know, we need to point them out so that mm. when they encounter it, you know, this is an obstacle, you know, you cut it out. And Yeah, mm. um, I, I did a podcast, um, I think it was when the inflation rate mm. rise and everything, and I was like, the, 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 the thing is to not stop. So let's say, for example, before you're able to save 20% of your income, mm. and then there is this whole inflation, there is a recession, there's a lot of things going on. Mm. You might not be able to save 20%, but you no. might cut it down to 10 For somebody mm. else, it might be 5%. Yeah. The key is to keep going on, mm. to not stop, mm. to not um, give up, mm. to do what you can do at the point where you can do it. Mm. And then even if you find that, oh, this month I didn't save anything, mm. pick it up again next month. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's, that's the... That's the, one of the obstacles that you can encounter is that you have, like, like we were saying, mm. emergencies that you didn't mm. plan for mm -hmm. and they come in to eat up your, yeah. your savings mm. or that you lose a job mm. and then you're not able to fend for yourself. Mm. Uh, I mean, there may be obstacles on this journey, mm. but, but the key is to, to have it at the back of your mind because I think financial freedom starts first with a mindset change wow. than even wow. the money aspect. Yeah. A mindset change. Mindset. Mm. Because sometimes people save, they mm -hmm. save up, mm -hmm. and then when they see the money, it's mm -hmm. like there's something biting them that it has to be spent. <laughs> and then before you know it, it's gone. One mm. of the lessons I've learned about money is that it's very hard to save it. It takes a very long time, <laughs> yeah. but it's very easy to spend it. You can spend a whole year saving up something that you will spend mm. in two weeks. It just mm. need, you just need a trip with your family to, mm. I don't know where, the Bahamas, mm. and it's 
<laughs> all that savings is gone so that's one major lesson about money that I've learned that mm -hmm. it's very easy to, to put it together mm -hmm. no it's very hard mm -hmm. to put yeah, they're, they're trying to gather this easy. money it's like it's slippery it just mm -hmm. keeps falling mm -hmm. and then it's very easy to spend mm -hmm. and so I think it's to develop very uh, you have to develop a good um, self control when it comes to money so that you're not always wanting to spend it mm. because if you find yourself spending a lot mm. you would not catch up with the way you're saving it mm. you end up spending more than you're saving and mm. it's very easy to go into that that's mm. one big obstacle mm. especially in sweden the yeah. summer comes and everybody's going on a holiday oh. and you feel that yeah. you deserve one as well <laughs> like we're talking about deserving yeah, yeah, and you're like yeah, yeah. yeah i also need mm. to go on a holiday mm -hmm. and then before you know it it's uh, you've spent money that you don't have mm. so i think that's a major thing yeah. Yeah. obstacle mm. like you said mm. is my, when you look at what other people are doing with money and you're mm. like how come i'm not able to do that yes and then you start seeing and things yeah. that you want and uh, yeah wow. wow 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 okay we're going for a short break we are coming back after the break get ready for the truth talk where we tackle life's most pressing issues join us as we explore universal challenges and seek solutions that transcend borders our special guests share their expertise and insights to empower communities worldwide stay tuned for thought-provoking conversations that can make a difference in your life no matter where you are Welcome back to Truth Talk. This is Lisa Mwangi and Bobby. Wow, we're talking about financial freedom. Wow, welcome back again. Thank you. Yeah, Bobby, you're talking about uh, obstacles mm. uh, that uh, one can encounter when trying to make money. But, but that, I have a question about that. Mm. How, how can one still increase your income, you know? There, there, are there ways that you know or you can give us that, are, you know, apart from work, mm. maybe we have other ways that we mm. can increase our income? I, I do think that it's possible. Uh, we talk mm. about side hustles all the time, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, you should yeah. be doing something on the side. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I always say that um, it's always possible to increase your income. You can look at what you're doing today and, mm. and, and do a skill, skills analysis. Yes. What can I do? What skills do I have that I'm not yet using? Mm. Um, if there's a deficit, you probably need to go back to school. Mm. In fact, the biggest financial investment that you can make sometimes mm. is going back to school. Okay, say that again. <laughs> it's, 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 it's one that can give you I mean a lot of if you go to the wow. bank today and you want to save your money yes. pick any bank mm -hmm. right now mm. in Sweden mm. probably the highest interest rate is 3% mm -hmm. or 4% mm. if you're I don't know which bank you're investing and you, and you get 5% on your mm. savings mm. maybe 5% is the maximum mm. if you're investing let's say in stocks and other things you might get like oh in the beginning maybe average 10% mm. 15% mm. but if you go back to school Sometimes you can increase your income by almost 50%. That's right. So it's one of the biggest investments mm. um, that you can make on yourself. Yes. Going back to school, mm. going to get new knowledge so that you can get better income. Because mm. sometimes mm. there's just so hard you can push your own, your current income. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's changing your job. Yeah. In Sweden, we talk about, you know, because it's Sweden, everybody gets that pay yeah. raise every year. Mm -hmm. And sometimes for some people, it's mm -hmm. really low. Mm -hmm. And one way to, change, to increase your income is probably in the same school, in the same job, but just mm -hmm. with another empl employer. Yes. And all of a sudden you have maybe mm -hmm. a few thousand crowns increase mm -hmm. in, your, mm -hmm. in your wages. Mm -hmm. So I think it's for everybody because we're all at different places. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is needs to go back to school, mm. go study more, mm. um, and then get a better job. Mm. Sometimes you need to look into yourself. Do I have all the skills that I have mm. that I can use? Some people mm. are cooking and yeah. selling it. Mm. Some people are starting YouTube pages, mm. doing things they love, and mm. then uh, that also can bring income mm. over time. Mm. Yeah, I think it's about doing a skills analysis and see, looking inward. What do I have in my hands? Mm. Like we always say that sometimes the blessing is in your hands. Mm. You just need to, it's a seed in your hand. You need to yeah. find that seed and plant it in the right place. And then you see it yeah. flourish and blows up. Wow. That's yeah. very, very beautiful, like uh, answered. Because it, it's true right now in Sweden, if you, like you're saying, if you change job, yeah, that's another opportunity to have your pay uh, raised. Raise, yeah. uh, and uh, you have your three, uh, some have even 4,000 and more 3,000 more I can tell you I've got it more than that sometimes by changing jobs so sometimes wow, you need to, wow, wow. and there are people who've, who've done that as well mm -hmm. um, so mm. but on average we say in Sweden that changing a job 
will probably give you two, three thousand crowns um, mm, yeah. pay raise. Yes, so. yes, yes, yes. Wow. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> so please don't stick to a, to a job. You know, some of us stick to where we don't even enjoy. Yeah. You, you, you just go for the sake of going. Because I, I believe one thing is that you really have to have the, no, it's, 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 yeah, it's very, yeah, work environment is very important. Yeah. Like, um, you go there, you're not happy. You come out there, you're not happy. Mm. You go, you transfer that at home. Yeah, yeah really you're not happy mm. either at home. So please, you also, that's also, uh, you know, you need to think about such things. Um, yeah, uh, uh, definitely. And not to remain in your comfort zone. No. Because mm. I think for a lot of people, whether it's going back to school, to mm. study, mm. or Mm. finding a job with another employer. Mm. I think mm. a lot of times people are so comfortable where they are. They're, mm. they're afraid of the unknown. Mm. What's going to happen there? What's mm. going to, what if I change? They don't know me. Mm. I'll have a new mm. manager, I'll have mm. new colleagues. Mm. Am I going to, mm. but I think uh, sometimes it's worth mm. taking that leap. Wow, that's nice. That brings me to the, the, this rule about 50, 30, 20 rule. That mm. uh, 50, you're talking about your needs uh, first, and mm. then the, the, the th um, 30, you talk about your want, mm. and uh, the 20, you talk about investing yeah. or uh, saving mm. or investing. Mm. Mm. What do you think? How much should one invest or put into investments? So I think that before you start investing, so there is, there mm. is the like we were saying, if this if an, if financial journey was a school, yeah. you start from let's say your budgeting. Yeah. You're making sure that your expenses are within your income. Yes. And then when you see that, oh, I'm able to actually pay for my bills mm. in my income, mm. you start saving. Mm -hmm. That means you're keeping something. Mm. And before you start investing, you have to start from saving. Mm -hmm. It's actually the first step. Mm. So don't rush into oh, I need to start investing. You need to first of all gather. In, gather some money mm. and, and that's when we say you, you save up mm. you start saving little mm. by little whether mm. you start with 5% or 10% or 15% mm. and then when you have enough saved that you feel like I can run into like if my car gets hit by something mm. I can change it like this without even thinking yeah. or if my fridge breaks and I can just buy a new one without mm. thinking mm. you have an emergency fund you have yes. a buffer mm. then you should start investing Mm. That, that's, that's what any financial person will tell you. Mm. But again, sometimes you may not have time to wait until all of that. So there are ways to short circuit that whole process. Mm. You can start investing earlier mm. before your emergency fund is, is, is full, but you mm. have to realize that investment mm. does not guarantee re return. Yeah. One thing with investment is that there is a risk that your capital may not come back. That's what I So before saying, you yeah. jump into mm. an investment, you have to think. You have to think. You have to think very well. Mm. And yeah. you have to see investment as something that you're doing. Mm. You have both short-term investments and mm. long-term investments. Mm -hmm. And I think that mm. when you've gotten to the point where you have your emergency fund and everything, mm. you can start by maybe investing with 10% of your income. Mm. If you see that you are, you're, you're managing that well, you can increase that to 15 to 20% mm. of your income. Mm. And then you can pick an investment that mm. works with your risk appetite. Because with investment, you have to think, mm. am I high risk, high returns mm. kind of person? Or am I more like, I just want my money <laughs> to multiply a little bit. I don't want it to become thousands, but I just mm. want it to multiply. Mm. Because they're also very different. Yeah. Uh, some people just want their 1,000 to turn into 1,050 <laughs> crowns. Some people want their 1,000 to turn into 2,000. Mm -hmm. Then we want that 1,000 to turn into 2,000 within two months. Some mm -hmm. people want it to turn into 2,000 within mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. So we all have different risk appetites. So, mm -hmm. um, and some people are very desperate and they end up investing in wrong places. Yeah, uh, that, that happens a lot. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me talk to uh, diasporans. Yeah. I'm talking to Africans in diaspora, exactly. Africans living abroad. Mm. One of the things that I have seen over and over again is people saying, I'm investing at home, and they're doing one business at home, mm. at home meaning in mm. their home country. Mm. And that is always a big, it's, if you don't do it correctly, mm. it's a big trap. Um, because a lot of times people get burned mm. by that. Mm. They're investing, but if you really look at what they're investing, it's not really an, it's not a viable investment. No. Somebody told them a business, oh, if you do this and do this, you mm. get your money back and all mm. of that, mm. and it doesn't work. Mm. Or that by the time you do the math, even mm. with the way our currencies sometimes are mm. devaluating back home, mm. the money you put in, mm. you can't get it back in Swedish crowns or in dollars or in euros or whatever mm. it is because you didn't do your math very well. So. Mm. I would say that uh, people have to be very careful when yeah. they're investing. You're you have right. to look at what you're investing into. You're right, Bobby, because once I did that mistake, ah. but then it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. anymore. It happened to me. I, I invested in some circle.
in my country, mm. in Kenya. And I was like, okay, yeah, if you invest this kind of money, you know, this, they yeah, come yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Every month you'll get this, this amount of money, mm. yeah, blah, blah, by 15%, something like yeah. that. And uh, you can either choose either to close it, that you don't get it mm. at all. Maybe you get your money. At the uh, end of it. At the end, yeah, or yeah, six yeah. months. Then I close it. Hey. Those people, they disappear. You don't yeah. even know where they... Yeah, so you really have to do your homework. Yeah, you have to do right. your due diligence. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. that's what I always say. Like, a lot of people, when they hear financial freedom, mm. they think, oh, yeah, I would like to be financially free. And they say investment <laughs> is the way to go. Yeah, let's invest. And the first idea that somebody mm. brings is mm. what they go into. Mm -hmm. You don't do that. Mm -hmm. You have to do your research. You yeah. have to plan. You have to educate yourself. Mm. Again, don't think that by listening to this mm. uh, YouTube video now when mm. you do listen that no oh, now i know about financial freedom and financial mm. investment no mm. Mm. you need to actually commit yourself to reading finding out like educate yourself read books mm. listen to people that mm. talk about these things mm. before you plunge into something mm. and so that you don't get burned mm. yeah wow, wow. Um, that's it's nice it's very important to do that that's very important reading books wow yeah. and there are books all over there are books, there are books everywhere. About um, everything, anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, before I didn't know, but now you there can't books, even get there them. There are in books Amazon. everywhere. There are, and now there are many YouTube videos, mm. people like Dave Ramsey mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, even Warren Buffett, one of the mm. uh, richest people in the world. They do YouTube videos, they're telling people mm -hmm. how to go about this thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, mm -hmm. there is knowledge out there. You mm -hmm. don't have an excuse that, oh, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But Bobby, okay, uh, what do you think, especially here in Sweden, mm. why do you think people have difficulties when it comes to being uh, uh, independent in finances? I actually think that if you think of the way Sweden is, it should mm. be the place where a lot of people are financially free. free. That's Financially right. at mm. peace, financially mm -hmm. free. Mm. But I think on the other side of that is that a lot of things are easily available in Sweden. Mm. Uh, I can walk into a shop today in Sweden, mm. get an iPad, mm. an iPhone, mm. uh, a new TV, mm. everything on credit. Yeah. I just walk in and they give me all this and then I walk out feeling like I didn't do anything. <laughs> and then after a month has gone, the bills start popping in. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, and then I can, you know, walk into a dealer mm. and get a car. Mm -hmm. um, I can go online, mm. book a holiday for summer, for, for winter, for mm. earth, mm. everything done. And I have not spent one cup one of my corner. money. Yes. And I think that is the problem in Sweden. Ah. That a lot of people, especially wow. our people, coming from maybe countries where credit was not easily available. Yes. We're like, oh, you mean I can just do this? And, <laughs> and we get into that trap. Like, ah, now I can drive that car. <laughs> yes. That car, I can drive it. Now I can... Have that phone mm -hmm. so that I can go and pepper them. <laughs> um, pepper them. And that is the problem. Because I think normally in Sweden, oh you can't find your level. No. You know your income. Yes. If you can't, uh, you can live in, a, uh, in an apartment that mm. maybe is government subsidized or something, or you can live in an apartment that even the rent is capped. Yes. I mean, in Sweden, the rent is capped. Mm -hmm. Like people, uh, landowners or, or landlords are not, are not allowed to just increase the rent anyhow and all mm. of that. You can live in an apartment that you can afford. Mm. You, can, you can take the public transport. Mm. You don't even need a car sometimes no. in Sweden. No. Um, you can take the public, it, it gets everywhere. Yes. You, can, you don't need to even buy clothes mm. in Sweden. People don't even, why do they wear a t-shirt and jeans and, and at work? We don't even have to dress up. Like, the way Lisa is looking so nice, like, if, he, if she goes to work like this sometimes, they might even ask her, please, what happened today? Is there something we missed? Basically, like, you can actually it's live true. without, it's you don't have to impress anybody. No, and nobody is interested. It, and that's it, nobody cares. So I'm like, what? People not living in this financial freedom. Because at least back in Nigeria, I can speak for Nigerians. Yeah. They are looking, they are looking good every time. If you don't, you know, if you don't drive those big cars, you are even going to be assaulted. And the, you need to be able to show that, ah, I am somebody. But here, nobody cares. And so you're like, why are we not living in financial freedom? Yeah. Um, and, and I don't want to make it sound like it's very easy. I think sometimes the, the, the reality is that a lot of people are struggling mm. financially because maybe their income is not enough if mm. you actually look at it mm. and, and that's why I was talking about going back to school in the beginning because a yes. lot of times we're here we're mm. not we're not living at our maximum capacity many of us have degrees 
that we've pocketed. We're not using those degrees. Mm. Many of us don't have degrees yes. because we get into the lie that, oh, in Sweden, you don't even have to be so educated. You can just get a job mm. and you'll be fine. Mm. And uh, we don't go to school, yeah. even though it's free. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we are not living to our maximum capacity and that's why we struggle. Mm. That's what I've seen with a lot of black people mm. uh, here, mm. that um, mm. when you see people that are struggling, mm. sometimes it's because they're not at their maximum capacity. Mm. The things that they have potential to do, mm. they're not yet doing them. Mm. Why do you think they are scared to go back to school? Because many are scared to go back to school. I actually don't know why people are scared to go back to school because I think... They in... prefer the, you know, the salary. Yeah, I mean, you can prefer the salary, but yeah. is it enough for you? This is something that we... I was uh, sharing with someone uh, a while back when the person was considering, should I go back to school, should I mm. stay? And I was like, mm. if you don't go back to school, mm. your income today is good for you. Mm. But think of in five years' time, mm. when your kids are grown, mm. when they want to do A, B, C, D, mm. will you be able to afford those things on this salary? No. no. So face your fear now and go back to school so mm. that you can actually afford the things that you need. Yes. Because Sometimes too, we're in different stages in life. Mm. As a student, there are things that you don't need. Mm. But once you have a child, there mm. are things that you must have because mm. now you have another mouth to feed. Mm. Um, once you have two children, mm. there are even more mouths to feed. Mm. When you have aging parents, mm. you have to start thinking, mm. someday, someday they're going to call you from home. Mm. We need to, I don't know what and what and what. Yeah. So as you see that your needs will increase, you have to mm. also be thinking, mm. how am I going to deal with it? And I think that mm. if you think of the fear of not being able to afford some things in the future, mm. it should be greater than the fear of mm. um, going to school. You should, mm. you should go back to school. And in wow. Sweden, you wow. can do uh, full-time. You can do 50%. Mm. I mean, I don't see a country that breaks things into percent, mm. percentages like Sweden. Mm. 10%. Mm. You can even walk 20%. I, before coming to Sweden, I never knew that people could walk 50%. It's either you're walking or you're not walking in Nigeria. But they're walking 20%. Somebody's like, I'm back to walk 40%. So, I mean, you can pick whatever yeah. percent works mm. for you mm. and actually mm. study mm. It works. It works. It works. It works. You can do it. Wow. And sometimes even in Sweden, you mm. can do it mm. with a student loan so mm. that you don't have to be burdened down with that. Old, oh, I need to pay my bills. Mm. And then once you're done studying, you start paying it back immediately. Mm. Like I said, it's only in our minds. Yeah. A lot of times what we need to overcome first is, our, is our, the it's mind our block. Mind. The mind that block. That thing blocking our mind. When wow. you overcome that, mm. every other thing is easy. So, wow. Money, money, <laughs> money. <laughs> money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> yeah? How much money is considered financially independent? Hmm. I don't think mm. that there mm. is, a, there is a, an amount that you can give. I think mm. that uh, financial independence will be... Uh, maybe a state than maybe just an amount. It's mm. when you mm. you you can survive. Um, let me let me not use the word survive. You're thriving financially. It's when you're not in debt. Mm. You're able to pay your bills mm. and you can afford to maybe even invest, save, and that means you can afford to say, oh, today I'm mm. I, I probably I'm too tired. I don't want to go to work. I can mm. take a day off without feeling like you will not be able to survive mm. for that month. I mm. think at that point, you are beginning to be financially free. And mm. then again, it's going to be different for different people. It mm. depends on what your bills are today. Yes. So I wouldn't, what is maybe, let's say, $10,000 mm. in my account might be financially free for me, mm. but it might be $50,000 for somebody else. It might be $100,000 for somebody else. It might be $1,000 for somebody else. Mm. Or it might even be, like there's a story my husband likes to give a lot. Mm. It's... Um, comparing the fisherman mm. in a little village in Spain to um, an American that is on a, an, on a holiday and thinks, oh, I can, I can teach you this fisherman how to be, you know, mm. to make money and then you'll be able to go on holidays and then mm. you'll be able to have time for your family. And the fisherman mm. is like, I have everything you're talking about. Mm. I already can just come here, fish and one fish. fish. <laughs> My family would eat that fish and they're fine. Yeah. And I can go home and sleep in the afternoon. Mm. I don't have to ask anybody to take a break to go and leave. Mm. And it felt like whatever it is you're trying to sell me, mm. I already have I that. Already so, have it. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think there is... Um, an amount that is considered mm. financially independent. It's, mm. it's when you don't have to mm. 
struggle mm. to make ends meet. It's when you, you can afford the things that you consider important for you in life mm. uh, without thinking. Mm. Um, and I think for different people, it's different things. Mm. Wow, wow. Like there's a show I was watching on Netflix. It was talking about your rich life mm. and defining your rich life mm. and then going for that. And for many people, their rich life is different things. For somebody, it's being able to retire their parents and mm. pay for their bills. For somebody else, it's buying a house. For someone else, it's... Um, it's different things. So mm. I think um, mm. Mm. even that may be some, a place for people to start from. Mm. What would I consider for myself? Mm. I am financially free. Mm. If you look at your finances today, mm. what is it that you are missing? Mm. And what would you like to add? Mm. I know for myself what I would like to add to mm. my dream mm. um, when it comes to finances. Mm. And I think everybody needs to sit with themselves and, uh, and, and come to, wow. to define the rich life. Wow, wow, that's beautiful. Uh, Bobby, uh, can you tell us some uh, different kinds of investment one can consider in Sweden? In Sweden? Yeah. I think Sweden is a little bit different from maybe um, the US or mm. even Nigeria or Kenya. Mm -hmm. Because Swe Sweden, the economy is not like totally capitalist. Mm. So the, the, most people are not running to make a lot of money, mm. like generally, even mm. though if you find out everybody wants to make money. But we don't run that kind of economy that, oh, yeah, I can just, you know, mm. you always say that back home in mm. Nigeria, you can just start a business tomorrow. Yes. In Sweden, you have to think of many things. You have to, so mm. it's a little bit different. So you have to understand the environment. But one of the easiest ways mm. is to invest in the established finances, financial system in Sweden. Mm. So like you find a, na a nice mutual fund to put your money in. Mm, mm, you mm, mm. can invest in property in mm, Sweden. Mm, mm. Maybe not at the moment. Mm. Uh, in the past, a few mm. years back was the right time to invest in property in Sweden because mm. you could buy a flat in, Sweden, in Stockholm for mm. a, a million crowns and then the next day it costs 1.5 mm. million. Mm, mm, uh, mm. But now you probably have to do more research. You yeah. have to know what to buy and mm. things like that. Mm. So... Mm. I think the easiest is to um, uh, invest in mm. a mutual fund, um, find a, a good fund to mm. invest in, might be a good place to start. Stocks, mm. if you know your way around the, the stock market, mm. it can be a good place to, to, mm. to look as well. But again, mm. investment is something mm. that you have to be willing to lose some money in the short term. So do you think the uh, Swedish financial system has functioned well? How do I put it? I think the financial system of Sweden functions well, but mm. I don't think the Swedish crown is doing very well at the moment. Mm. Um, <laughs> we were recently in England and I almost cried uh, mm. because then uh, I think a pound is like 14 crowns. Yeah. Or a dollar is like 11 crowns almost. When I first moved to Sweden, mm. a dollar was 6.7 crowns. So for oh. me, that's almost like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so, but I think the financial system in terms of if you put your money in a Swedish bank, mm. you have guarantees mm. um, that... Um, if something happens, mm. you can get your money back, the money yeah. that you invested. So mm. in that sense, the financial system is safe. Mm. Uh, mm. More than a lot of places that we put our money in mm. back home and mm. things like that. Mm. So I think the financial system in itself works. Mm. Uh, but the Swedish crowns has not been doing very well. Um, so they shouldn't be afraid. They shouldn't uh, save their money under mattresses. No, don't, put your, no <laughs> don't put your money. You're, you're better off putting it in a bank where it's... Yeah. it's, um, uh. it's giving you some, some kind of uh, returns, at, at least. Mm. Um, there are companies that are putting together, let's say, investment opportunities, and then they're asking you to invest in them. Mm. You can mm. invest in properties mm. through other people. You mm. don't have to have a lot of money. Mm. You can invest as little as maybe mm. 30,000 Swedish mm. crowns, 50,000 mm. Swedish crowns, sometimes mm. lower. Mm. Um, you can invest in businesses. Mm. Mm. Um, in Sweden, they have a lot of... They have, a couple of websites you can go to. Wow. There is Pessin, there mm. is Destin, there mm. is... Um, and then you can talk to your bank mm. Um, mm. to see if they have a, a good fund that you can mm. invest in. You mm. can go online, mm. talk to Nordnet, mm. Avanza, mm. you know. Mm. And you by can the way, start an investment club with your friends. Exactly, exactly. Put money together and put mm. it into something. Mm. But don't put it into these mm. funny ideas that people bring you from Africa, <laughs> Nigeria, <laughs> Kenya. Oh! Oh, come, there's this new business idea. Tell uh, them, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, <laughs> We're yeah. going to think about that a little that's bit more. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, and they also have an opportunity to negotiate when it comes to interest. Yeah. They didn't know, yeah. You can always negotiate. You can always call. And uh, I mean, because if you don't call, one year has gone. You miss yeah. that opportunity. 
to, to do that. And I mean, now, mm -hmm. a few years back, the interest rate on savings accounts in Sweden were like zero crowns. Mm -hmm. And now you can mm -hmm. get 2%, 3%. But if you really want to, mm -hmm. if you're ready to invest mm -hmm. and you're not just saving, mm -hmm. because even when you're saving, mm -hmm. you can save in, in, in an account that gives you interest. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we have SBAB, they have a normal SPAR conto, mm -hmm. and it has... Uh, interest on it. Bobby, tell that person who is deep in debt, uh, do, doesn't know where to start when it comes to financial freedom. Mm. Can you just tell that person something as you give us your last shot? For the person that is in debt and doesn't know where to start, mm. start with your lowest debt. Mm. So you, even if it's the one with the lowest interest rate or whatever, start mm. with the one that you can pay off the fastest yeah. because I think human beings when we see that we're making progress we are more encouraged to go for the next one so start yeah. with your lowest debt the yeah. death with the lowest amount yeah. um, go for that one first get it down yeah. and then take it and take it step by step yeah. that's what I would say um, it's wow. always a good place to start wow wow yeah hmm? And um, yeah, so as we close, I think uh, what I would like to leave with people is that financial freedom is possible, mm. um, but it's not something that you wish for. It's something that you work for. Mm. Uh, it's a lot of work to budget and keep yourself within a particular budget for a long time, mm. but it pays off when you start enjoying the dividends of financial freedom. So I think um, you should keep going even when it's difficult mm. and, and don't stop, mm. uh, but it's attainable, it's possible, and it's possible for even an African in Sweden, mm. because I think it's important to say that. Yes, yes. Um, mm. It's very possible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What should I say? <laughs> Thank you so much, Bobby. Thank you too. For taking your time. To Thank you too for having me. Nice. <laughs> wow, what a topic. I know many, many, many people have been blessed and, uh, yeah, and they know what to do next. So stay tuned for more videos. May God bless you until next mm. time. Bye bye. Bye. Get ready for the Truth Talk where we tackle life's most pressing issues. Join us as we explore universal challenges and seek solutions that transcend borders. Our special guests share their expertise and insights to empower communities worldwide. Stay tuned for thought-provoking conversations that can make a difference in your life no matter where you are.